Hello, everyone. I'm audible. Yes. Perfect. So, myself, uh, Chirag Jogi. I'm working as a delivery head in Brainwire. Uh, today's topic I'm going to cover is one of our customer, Everly Jewelry. So, I'm going to showcase what kind of implementation that we have done, what kind of solution, what kind of suggestions that we have implemented for jewelry business. And uh, this client is brand of Offer Mizrai, which is $200 million company in USA. So one of the brand in B2C, we have implemented Udu. And yeah, today we will talk in details for that. Quickly regarding uh, my background of my company. So we are uh, Brainwire Infotech. We are 12 years in, in old in this Udu industry, working in Udu. We are gold partner and uh, we are uh, proudly uh, can say that we are Udu customer satisfaction award that we recently achieved. We are located in multiple regions of the country. We are headquartered in USA. We have office in Canada, UK, Middle East, Singapore, and India. And we work with different technology as well. So we start with a consultative approach. We go with the kind of consultations, understanding the requirement, pain points of the business, and what are the best solution available in the market that we can suggest. If we talk about Udu, specifically in my departments, we are having 380 people working specifically as a Udu developers consultant. Out of them, 200 plus are certified. We have already done 300 plus ERP implementation successfully. We did 120 plus integration projects. So either you talk about e-commerce, marketplace, EDI, uh, AI automation, such kind of things we already have done. So I'm working in Udu from last 13 years, working as a delivery head and very strong experience in retail manufacturing distribution. Uh, I take care of consultation, architecture, documentation kind of thing where any of our customers require suggestion consultation for their business. So Everly is into lab-grown diamond manufacturer and they are into luxury jewelry and uh, they are doing B2B, B2C both. Uh, we have implemented Udu for them. In this vertical, in this uh, jewelry industry, there is kind of using all system, legacy system, software, still till date they are all kind of doesn't have smarter automation software available in market. That was the need for this client as well. So we suggested Udu and they liked very much. And then we implemented step by step, process by process, phase by phase Udu implementation. And they are specialized into lab-grown jewelry diamonds. Uh, they do consignment order. They do uh, online order. They have retailers who sells their jewelry as well. So we have touch based all these things. In today's agenda, I'm going to talk about what are the challenges that customer has faced, what are the outcomes of that, and how Brainwise has delivered solution to make that whole project successful. So if we talk about the challenges, so they were using legacy system, old age, custom grown, homegrown ERP, and few data into Excel. So there were multiple different different systems, no consolidations, different departments having different data and usage. They have a uh, kind of complex procurement process, the RFP, there was not any kind of uh, systematic format wise process they were following. They were do doesn't have any kind of stock tracking system. So each and every, they have a multiple location, they have stores, how much, sto how much stock they have available, how much is at a consignment, at a vendor location or subcontractor, they were no clue. So that's how we came to the picture and given that kind of solution. They were uh, having a sales commission structure, but there is a manual process, Excel sheet based commission auto calculation. Uh, because it's a tedious process, right? It's end of the month, you count each and everything in a manual way. There are lots of other uh, uh, challenges they were facing. They were into unique product, right? So each and every product have their own kind of unique tag. So uh, in, in system, they were not defining any kind of proper SKU. We helped them proper tagging of the each and every product wise. So this is kind of high level workflow of what we have implemented. So here you can see, uh, as a customer for Everly business, Everly jewelry client, they have a two type of customer, B2B and B2C. So for B2B customer, they can place an order from e-commerce. We have given B2B portal access, who can register, 
can verify their KYC and can be the as a as a customer for there. Then that they can place a consignment memo. So in this industry, generally everything works on a consignment manner. So they place an order. For example, they place hundred jewelry order, and out of them, only ninety has been sold. And there is a specific time period for consignment. Each consignment order will have, for example, three months, four months. In in that period, whatever the sales happens, that transaction or that invoice only they need to do. Remaining, they give back to the inventory to the main owner. That whole system that we have done on on top of Udu, and uh, we have done validation checks and balances in place. So if the consignment order they place and they have a specific duration, if it's completed. Then the uh, consignment gets to the customer. If not, it's back the inventory. Whatever the remaining inventory, get back to the uh, owner. Same way in B two B, they have different different sales channel. They sells uh, online on Uru e commerce. They have sales wrap going to the store by store. Uh, they have phone calls, email uh, orders as well. And that orders they will check either uh, from e commerce website only. If there is inventory, they can fulfill. If not, they will show the what are the nearby retailers. So if you are in uh, New York, we are who are the nearby retailers? You can find and you can go over there. So you can really experience the physical inventory or jewelry, how it look like, what is the material, either it's in uh, platinum or rose gold or 24 carat, 22 carat. So you can actually uh, we, uh, check the inventory, experience the product, and then you can pro- uh, purchase. So that's how the model works. uh and if if there is a kind of if they doesn't have inventory so we did third party integrations with the vendor api kind of thing so if they doesn't have inventory they do subcontracting to the third party vendor so we integrated via api with the vendor portal okay and whatever the vendors system they are using that data we are synchronizing with udu so if they give kind of uh, one order to their vendor for subcontracting what is what is the status of that product how if they have started the production or not at what stage they are right now when they will give, going to fulfill that order to me uh, what is the due date everything can be visible and trackable using the data transfer via api there is other method also via ftp that we have done so that it's very convenient end of the day if any person or sales rep want to see what is the status order at my vendor location which may be in different country but i can see from my system uh we have done unique product taking i will i will go in that details yeah so this was i was talking about in this industry in jewelry each product is unique each product does have their own color that metal type size clarity and that unique formation of each and every combinations we create a product tag and this is can be used in any industry but specifically in jewelry industry you can see the barcode tag on each and every jewelry so we customize that tag and given this kind of uh, uh, calculations to accommodate multiple parameters all together so whatever the color clarity uh, sku uh, if they if they want to add the sizing and uh, carat weight that they can see from the product tag itself This is e-commerce, Udu e-commerce that we have built. Uh, it's a pure uh, kind of UI UX that we have built on top of Udu. Uh, uh, it's more about you can you can search based on multiple categories, product wise, and once you once you like any product, you can go in details. You can select which color you want, which metal type. It's 14 karat gold or 18 karat gold. And if the stock is not available on my e-commerce website, you can see find retailer. system will give you a list of suggestions based on your zip code based on the nearby retail available for or who is selling this uh, jewelry we have done this consignment memo order so we have tweaked our so sales order in a such a way that you can place an consignment order who is the customer what is the consignment date what is the payment terms uh, what is the duration of that consignment and when is going to expire So based on this calculation, system will create an SO, will give you a notification of okay, when it's going to expire and what are the agreements between both the parties, and then you can start giving this product to that party. 
if in specific duration, if they able to sell that items, then you need to pay, means customer need to pay him that amount only and remaining amount, remaining product, they will, they will give back. Here in this case, every day, the gold rate, silver rate, platinum rate gets changed, right? So we did such kind of automation and using any kind of two ways we have done. So every day there is a rate change happening. So we have done such kind of calculation via real time getting the rate from wrapper port or you have a, syst a manual system as well. You feed the data of today's rate of gold and get the updated invoice. So both ways we have done. This is another unique feature that we did is dynamic valuation based on metal and diamond rate. So when I also start, if I want to procure any product from my vendor, that day there will be some different rate when I'm getting in batches, might be in this industry, if you order 10 quantity, you don't, doesn't get everything on hand on the same day. So when if, I, if, if I'm getting batches wise, uh, back order wise system, each back order we have defined in a versioning system. So you can see I've raised one PO, but it does have this much variance of versioning system of backdated PO with unique identification we have given dash one, dash two, dash three, and whatever stock they are sending to us at that rate, that parameters we are tracking over here. So in system, we have versioning management, revision systems, and history as well. We have done unique sales-based commissions model. So it's a tier-based uh, calculation. Each sales rep have uh, their own target. What are the target has been achieved or not? Uh, each team there might be having different, different regions or territory. Are they covering that territory and fulfilling the target or not? So we have that dashboard and auto calculation of commission for each and every sales rep. And system will give you based on the reports and uh, payroll accordingly. This is uh, that we have done vendor API integrations with uh, third party who is might be a subcontractor. Uh, so this status you can see over here, it's actually not the Udo status, it's, it's more about the vendor system status. Vendor might be using uh, another system, either SAP, NetSuite or Salesforce, right? Or other manufacturing product. But I want to see wh what is the status of my subcontracting uh, uh, this process then I can synchronize the status and process into the system. Out of this, what we have achieved into this project is more about 50% in reduction in the overall operation cost that my client has seen. 70% decrease in the manual intervention because lots of the process that we're doing in Excel and different different systems that were streamlined on Udo, lots of automation in calculation, commission structures that we have done because of that the simple tasks any person was doing on four hours that was easily built, easily, they can do in one or 1 1.5 hours, you know? And 60% increase in productivity they have, that have seen. Overall, uh, they have uh, kind of achieved a whole cent means, uh, consolidated process and tracking system as an inventory level. And yeah, this was these are the, our few of our clients that we are working with. Yeah, that's it from my side. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. You can scan this QR code. Thank you for the, the presentation. Thank I'm awaiting you. the questions. I saw someone typing in, so if you have any. Feel free to, to scan the QR code. 